possible that really what they're defending is just their, uh, well, their the, empire? It's the military industrial complex. Yeah. I'm so they're more likely to defend you, you or say the corporate During one of the questions, say, say I know, again? during one of the questions, yes. during the uh, question and answer period, yes. I noticed you held up your sign here, yes. and then a police officer came over to speak with you. Yes. Uh, what did he say? He said, no signs are allowed in here, please put that away. Did you tell him that that's not a sign, it's just a piece of paper that you have written on? Well, did, did he, they he define a, how big something had well, to be to be a I, sign? I thought free speech is free speech, and I'm here with free speech, and he's saying no, but I wasn't going to argue with a man who's, who's job it is to tell me to shut up <laughs> right because I didn't have a microphone and but does the mic fact that he had a gun and handcuffs and pepper spray nah. uh, did that weigh into the decision no. to not question no. no I have relatives who are police you know I'm not afraid of cops it just it just it was it was wrong. Kelly Ayotte wanted to suppress free speech and control it so she controls this, this questions are asked because you have to sign in and pre-digest the questions for right. her so they, so they sift through those so someone like me could never get to have this as my question because she wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't pick that. Okay, and the sign says vote for federal background checks for sale of guns and ammo at gun shows and on the internet. Yeah, that levels the playing field. I think gun dealers would be even favor of this because gun dealers are losing money because they can't sell a gun to me if I'm going to go on the internet and buy it without buying it from the gun shop in Fitzwilliam or Troy. So I think this would... Well, if you purchase from a firearms dealer online, you still have to have the background no, check because you have to pick the weapon up from a firearms dealer in your area. They don't mail it to your house. I think there's, there's some... Um, if there's a person-to-person -person transaction, if I were to sell a firearm to you, there are state laws in place that says that I either have to know you and know that you don't have felonies or some other prohibition against owning a firearm, or you must have a concealed carry permit. So there are procedures in place. It's just, it's just loose, but... Federal, I mean, like Chicago has this terrible violence. You hear that on the news. And they have some of the worst uh, or but, most strict but, but, but listen, gun control me, laws. Yeah. They okay. Have, they have, Illinois has gun control yes. laws, but people come from Indiana, Wisconsin, all around. They don't live in Chicago. You can go out, you can go next door to Indiana and get as much as you want. They come into Chicago. So it has to be federal, 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 federal. It's not state by state. So you don't want any municipal laws on anything? You want everything to be controlled by the feds? Not everything. You're overgeneralizing. I'm talking about the guns. The guns are very mobile, as Chicago knows, because these guns, they do have registration and gun control in Chicago. They have the highest murder rate in the country. It's just tragic. Children shooting children and all kinds. You can't go out for bread and milk, you know, after dark or in the wrong neighborhood. And if they, and it wouldn't stop all of this, but it would stop some of it. If they They're couldn't, not if people one, couldn't just bring them in from in, go, you know, toddle over to Indiana and buy an AK-47 and come back to Chicago and, and his, kill his, people. His All right. So federal is even if federal is important with guns. You don't want a federal driver's license for driving your car, which are also mobile. Yeah. But, but this is so important and such a crisis in our country. That, uh, and also this thing about mental health. Adam Lanza was probably pretty mentally ill. The guy that killed those children yes. in Connecticut. Yes, with, with stolen guns. Yeah. No, it was his mother's guns. They weren't stolen. He stole them from his mother. Yeah, who had taken oh, to the shooting range to teach him how to use them. So she had some... I think she was afraid of it. Well, you know, I think... Uh, and I think the parents of that young man out in uh, Colorado who shot up the movie theater, I think his parents were afraid of him, too. But parents don't know what to do if you have a mentally ill adult son or daughter who's dangerous. They say, come on over and look at my kid because he, you know, he's, he's cuckoo. <laughs> so it's just a real difficult. Kelly Ann wants to put on mental health. Killings 
They're uh, not by mentally ill know. people. They're they just by bad on, guys because uh, they want to steal your leather jacket or they want your car or they want to your wife or something. So it's mental health. Health is a part of it, but that's kind of like a red herring. Because the larger reason, issue is just Benghazi federal. Is just a sticking Make it uniform in all the them, states. And they just keep dragging. All right, thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh,